Hello and welcome to The Week Ahead, our new show here on the ALG News Network. I'm your host, Frank McCaffrey, and we have a very busy week ahead because it's the lame duck session on Capitol Hill. And now I'm joined by Americans for Limited Government President Bill Wilson, and of course it's lame duck time on Capitol Hill. Yes, it is, uh, and all the mischief and mayhem that uh, can ensue from it is starting to bubble and simmer up on the uh, up in Capitol Hill. Okay, and now, of course, when people think about our government, they think about one of the two things you can count on in life: taxes, and that's going to be a hot issue um, <clears throat> in this in this coming. Um, lame duck session. I'm going to turn it over to you and also your buddy Don Todd. Well, you know, taxes are going to dominate uh, the debate, uh, but there are a whole lot of other things that are likely to be brought up. Uh, that's the, that, is the, the, that is the whole reason for a lame duck session, is to do things that they didn't have the guts to do before the election. So, Don, what are you hearing about some of the items that, uh, that they're going to try to sneak through? Well, they're going to try to do a lot of things. In a, in a way, they're kind of like a college kid trying to cram before finals. They're trying to, one thing they have to do is fund the government. Otherwise, the government shuts down, and they're, and they're not funded past this lame dusk session. They also are trying to pass a major arms reduction treaty, a START treaty. Uh, they may try to sneak some confirmations in that they couldn't get, it, couldn't get done during the past year. Uh, they're also talking about the DREAM Act, which is essentially an amnesty act, and they're talking about repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, where they're going to go with all this, it's, it's, it's hard to tell. It's, you know, I think the reason they call it a, a lame duck session is to, to differentiate it from the lame section uh, they just got done with. <laughs> <laughs> the lame sessions. Uh, well, but the you know uh, these are high-profile uh, issues. These are things that are making newspapers and headlines that we uh, that people are kind of on guard about. But isn't the bigger fear? Isn't the bigger danger? The things that don't get written about very often. The uh, the small little things that end up adding millions, if not billions, of dollars to the deficit or hand special powers over to uh, favored special interests. I'm thinking, you know, we still hear rumblings about some type of union privilege uh, measure through uh, a variation of card check to be added to uh, the continuing resolution, that thing that funds the government. Uh, we're certainly talking about expanding powers of the EPA and, and other agencies of, of the government that have really built a track record of, of thuggish overreach uh, in terms of the economy. Uh, th this, I think, is a huge fear, and there's no way to monitor all of these things, is there? Well, I think the passage of the, uh, the Health Care Act showed how much damage they can do uh, when, they, when they're on this feel well you'll have to read you have to read the bill after we pass it so you can find out what's in it which she actually said Pelosi actually said so I think you're right I think they will try to sneak some of these things into the continuing resolution which has to pass or they might even try to pass a budget but I doubt it mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a dangerous time uh, I mean these people have been repudiated by the public uh, they lost uh, over 60 seats and now they're coming back and they're going to try to get even I'm hearing on the card check bill that they're going to try to do that by judicial fiat or through the NLRB, which is a quasi-judicial organization. Uh, that they'll try, they've stacked that with with labor people, and uh, labor will get what it wants uh, through regulation. The Center for American Progress recently put out a plan that essentially says, since they've lost the Congress, they should rule by decree. Uh, executive orders and uh, and regulations mm -hmm. and uh, that's very scary really because it's very hard for the Congress to do anything about that they can they can vote on a regulation and and repeal it but the president has to sign that and obviously that's not going to happen right but what's what's important about that is that Congress does have one uh, one card to play and that is they can refuse to fund these things. They can refuse to fund anything set up by these uh, edicts uh, or mandates coming down from the Royal White House. Uh, but of course, then they, they'll get all of the, uh, 
uh, all of the, the weak sisters and quislings that'll say, oh, don't shut down the government, don't shut down the government. Uh, but it wouldn't be them shutting down the government. It would be Barack Obama shutting down the government, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, as it was Bill Clinton, and, but he didn't get the blame for it. The Congress did. When Ronald Reagan uh, refused to sign a Democrat Congress's continuing resolution, then it was blamed on Reagan. But when Clinton refused to do it, uh, it was blamed on the Congress. And I think it's a misreading. It's, it's uh, generals fighting the last war. Uh, 